my year's actually been really good. A lot of training in and with the pandemic, it actually was a lot easier to get training in and I could be, you know, more one-on-one -on -one with coaches. I'm very lucky to live in a very lenient town. So honestly, the, really, the only thing that's really slowed down is just my gym. There's not as many people there. So if I want to train later in the day, I'm not going to have to worry about working around so many people. And then at my fight gym, it's honestly really great. People still show up and I still have people to spar with, but not too many people to where it's crowded. Honestly, my entire life's kind of been based around fitness. Uh, my parents, you know, really big into fitness. So I kind of got, got into it as well. And I fell in love with fitness and, you know, making myself look good. It makes me confident. And powerlifting has been a big thing in my life. It's, it's made me confident. It's made me want to empower others. And it's made me strong. And I love it. Well, with um, my powerlifting, I'm really powerful, and they're, I actually moved to a school with wrestling, so I started wrestling and didn't think I'd really like it and because I watch it, and I'm like, eh, but then as soon as I learned it and, you know, learned the fluid movements, I fell in love with it, and, you know, I started fighting as well, and I want to be an MMA fighter so I can throw punches and do wrestling. My advice to, you know, anybody wanting to get into wrestling or, you know, just fitness in general would be to stay consistent because once you fall off, it's really hard to get back on it. So you just have to work hard, you know, don't give up and stay with it. I think my biggest hurdles with, you know, the sports I do is just the mental game. It is so mental and of course it's physical, but you have to make sure that if you do, you know, sustain an injury, you have to be, you know, in the mental state to get through it, still train and, you know, make sure that you feel good while you're doing it. There's honestly a lot of negativity around being a female and strong and looking not so feminine, I guess some people would say. Um, there's people, of course, that come out and say, you look like a man, you know, you're too muscly, you should stop lifting. And I just kind of brush it off because I love myself and you kind of have to just forget about what the haters say and, you know, learn to love yourself. Because it did take me a long time to finally accept that I love the way I look. But, you know, once you figure it out, it really works. My typical workout schedule is every morning I get up at five and set, set or well, five days a week I go and train and each day is a different day. I hit, you know, back, legs, every part of my body. And that's just for powerlifting. And then with my MMA, I train um, three nights a week during the week. And then um, on the weekends, I usually train Saturday and Sunday as well. You know, just get a lot of extra days in. I'm on a really high protein diet because, you know, I lift a lot. I do cardio. I have to have my strength, you know, and then I also, you know, taking good carbs, not bad carbs, you know, like chips and stuff, but I take in, you know, uh, I take in a lot of greens. I love uh, broccoli and, you know, all of that. So I make sure, you know, have a sustained diet. And of course there's cheats here and there, but I have to really watch my diet. There's definitely some times where I get a little bit tired, but my sleep schedule usually looks like I get up about five and, you know, I start my day and then I get home usually around nine if I have late training nights and I try to get to bed around 10. So I get in a pretty good amount of hours, but some would say not enough. I definitely relate to wanting to work out the muscle that is your weakest because for me, my strongest is my bench, but I really love working my deadlift and squats because I really want my numbers to get up there and I always love improving. So the more I can improve, it really you know makes me feel good.
my numbers are actually, you know, pretty good right now. Um, when I first started, I was just lifting actually less than the bar. We had to get like 15 pound bars. And now my squat is 225 pounds. My deadlift is 270 and my bench is 160. And I'm most proud of my bench because a lot of girls aren't so strong, like upper body wise. And my bench has really just excelled. My typical workout really consists of a lot of like key factors into um, getting my deadlift, squat, and bench. So I do curls, you know, uh, chest press, all of the things. And I don't really like track how much I do, but like weight wise, but I do do a lot of reps and make sure that I stay consistent with that. I think probably my biggest highlight for powerlifting has been winning state championships in the boys division. It just feels really good to beat boys, especially, but you know, state is honestly probably one of the biggest awards. I love it. My biggest um, inspiration for powerlifting is honestly probably my parents. Cause you know, I watch them lift and you know, they stay with it and, they just inspire me to, you know, push myself and it's kind of like a family thing. So it's really, it, it's really fun to work out with your family and enjoy all those, you know, special moments. And outside of the gym, uh, I'd have to say I watch so many people, uh, powerlifters wise, you know, I don't necessarily watch powerlifters, but I watch fitness people. Uh, I love Arnold Schwarzenegger and just so many other people. I am so inspired by everybody that has, you know, came from the bottom and, you know, made it to the very, very top. When I trained with Bella Mir, it was such an amazing experience. She was such a sweet person and she was amazing at like every single thing we did, lifting, wrestling, jujitsu. And she was able to teach me so much and so nonchalant with it. No, I never really um, track my uh, muscle sizes. Sometimes people on my Instagram will be like, hey, how big's your bicep? And I'll be like, okay, let me check. But I don't even remember the last time I did that.